I have always maintained. <laughs> God, you hit me with a question. I'll do 15 minutes. <laughs> Here's how we do You have to work very little when I'm here. I liked that little sing-song <laughs> thing you had there. It remind, who did it remind me of? It's, it's, a, it's a third, fourth generation disintegration of Jerry Lewis. That's what it was. Yes. Which is like, my dollies, right? <laughs> and my kids, God bless them, uh, were nurtured on that. And they do it. And they don't even know that it is Jerry Lewis anymore. Mm-hmm. My, my, you know, my son, he's 19. He goes, I can't find my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, Love it. Oh, I'm so proud. Yes. Never mind he's failing it out of school. <laughs> that he can do that. That's the important stuff. Doesn't even know why he's doing it at this oh. point. They literally think that's how you talk. That's beautiful. <laughs> my other son, when he was five, he would say, ow, I stubbed my toe with the nice lady. Like, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> literally. And like, he won't even Jerry Lewis it up. He'll go th- as if it's a sentence. With Rude. the nice lady. I go, oh, I'm so proud. That's great. And you explained to them that he said Jerry was a very good man. He uh, seemed to appreciate the female comedian. You know, and, you uh, seem a little sarcastic. It's hard to tell <laughs> over the air. Uh, I, I worked with Jerry Lewis. He did an episode of Mad About You, if you may recall, because I'm sure you've seen them all. Season one, we had this crazy epi- story. It was really goofy. Um, that some eccentric billionaire hires me, my character, to, to film, you know, make a movie about them, like a, a vanity project. And we kept writing this crazy stuff. He said, well, it's like a Jerry Lewis type. And he said, well, you're not going to get Jerry Lewis. And we said, well, how do you know? We called Jerry Lewis. Who said, you know, nobody's ever asked me. No, it's like the pretty girl that nobody asks to dance. Yeah, huh? Like nobody's invited. It was his first half hour he'd ever done. Wow. And uh, it was a thrill. I mean, and it was a challenge because he's, you know, he's not the easiest. It wasn't the easiest guy. But it's Jerry freaking Lewis. Right. And, you know, and he kept slowly on his own adding all the Jerry Lewis things too. And like literally we had a scene where he's dancing with Helen Hunt and doing his thing where he can't put his arms, he doesn't know where to put his arms. And then he goes, what a nice lady. And you see Helen's hair blow back like in the old Max L tape commercial. It was like, woo. Um, and then he did a thing and Stephen Wright was on that episode and they did a thing where Jerry was trying to force feed a cookie into Stephen Wright's mm-hmm. mouth and Stephen just stood there. And I thought this is the, these are the two polar extremes of comedy. Yeah, seriously. Stephen Wright, Jerry Lewis, Lewis, and I went, it might rain in here. That's how, <laughs> <laughs> his two fronts are meeting. Um, but he was he was great. It was really a thrill. And then from that day on, yeah, he, I mean, he was always, you know, very kept in touch. He was very warm. Here's something that might change your opinion of Jerry Lewis, or maybe not, or add to your already nice opinion. He came in. We do a five day shoot Monday to Friday. Monday morning we do a table read, and he says, "Can I get a, a cast a crew list?" Okay, give him the crew list. Everybody's name. Tuesday morning, he comes in, knows every cameraman, every boom guy. How you doing, Eddie, Frankie, Joey, how are you? Mar- knew everybody. Wow. And I've been there like, you know, a year. I said, what's his name? Yeah. Steve. <laughs> that's Steve. Okay. Uh, and and I thought, that's, I don't know why he did that. I guess because now there's 48 people who leave going, Cherry Lewis knew my name. But yeah. that's a, you know, it's a nice gift. That's class. Yeah, it's really classy. Yeah. Very it's old school. It's a class move. To hear the whole conversation, subscribe for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts or visit nevernotfunny.com.